the definite fact But your lotto, I stick you the pack oh, You know I'm picky with that hey, Walk in that bill with that Louis V What's up, DMB gang? So today we are doing another hair video, of course, and today we are working with the brand Genius Wigs. Okay, guys, so when you order from Genius Wigs, you will get a box that looks like this, and it's a nice little white sturdy box, and then the back, it will be like a checkoff list if you are basically sending the hair back, like getting exchanged or returning it, and then their Instagram and social medias and stuff on that side. When you order from them, guys, they give you a wig cap, of course, which I love. Love those. Can't get enough of them. They give you an elastic band. And then they give you this, which I really was kind of confused on what this, uh, what this is. I don't really know what it's for. I guess it's for like when you bleach your knots. No, I could be wrong. I don't know. This is 150 density and 20 inches, guys. So look at how bouncy that is. And the quality and shiny and all of that good stuff so this wig is a knotless wig this wig basically has like the bleach knots and knotless scalp so we're about to put sis on to see how she's looking okay guys so this is what the hair looks like on me so yes this is giving body look real real good and i'm loving it um I want to show y'all this hairline and good things like that to show you guys that you do not need to bleach this wig or anything like that. They do leave like little baby hairs out just to let you know. But yes, this hairline is really, really good. And then look at this lace. Like if it didn't cover my forehead and stuff, you will see that is very, very undetectable. Now, be quiet. So as you guys can see, that hairline is very, very, very good, very plugged, very nice. You know, sis is looking real good, real swept. But very, very, very like scalp looking, really, really good. Uh, Y'all, this is what the back looks like. Really bouncy, soft, cute, you know? You know? I'm gonna put some of this lot of body mousse onto my hair right here near the part um i got this mousse from the hair store beauty supply store whatever you want to call it so yeah it's not really hard to find i think they have it at walmart too but i could be wrong and i'm just flattening out this part with my flat irons just so you can see the part good flatten out the hair as i should say not the part but whatever um, sis is really slaying the game with the hairline and the knotless knots, um, not knotless knots, but undetectable knots. Um, I love wigs like this because if you don't feel like it, you don't have to bleach. So yeah, that's a plus. I hate wigs that you like have to, have to, have to, have to bleach your hair or it just looks like a wig. But yeah, we're just about to put some of this mousse all on this part over here and on the other side as well um just slicking back those hairs over here and then slick it back with the flat iron as well now what i'm about to do is um glue down this wig so everything will be into play and then we're gonna do baby hairs and do a little cute style which i am going to be using gossipy glue i am going to try different glues very very soon so don't think nothing of it as you can see i got my wig cap back just like this sometimes you don't need to put um to do the um stocking cap method sometimes you could just put your wig cap like right there about an inch of the hairline should go on your forehead or not yeah your forehead just so it can look like this so it doesn't look like that that bad now if you put it like this you can actually see the wig cap basically i know that i need to put glue about an inch so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna flip back my um wig 
Oh, let me make sure I cut off my ear tabs first. That's the first step, guys. I'm getting ahead of myself. Now with your ear tab, you want to just cut right over your ear. Even if you cut a little piece of the hair, that's perfectly fine. Just as long as it doesn't go over your ear. So right now, you see that it's kind of going over my ear. So I need to cut a little bit more. But I always end up cutting too much. So I'm just going to leave it like that. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. But yeah, we're going to cut this lace over here off. Okay. So now we got sis together. And the part is a little bit crooked now because the wig is actually laid down the right way. But as you can see, I cut the ear tabs directly off. So it's not going over my ear at all. Very, very natural looking. That's what you want to do. You want to get that natural look. So this is a beginner friendly video. So I'm just talking through it with y'all because I know it's a lot of people that watch my videos. And it's a lot of people that watch my videos and still don't understand how to put on a wig. When it's not really that hard as long as you have a great wig. That's why I review good wigs because, you know, I don't want y'all looking crazy. But anyways, we're going to use the Gossip Be Free Spray. This is probably the top thing that you should use if you are just beginning to do your wig so use the guys to be free spray and a blow dryer and then will be your besties i'm gonna do two layers of this and blow dry each time i spray it on and then just tap it to make sure it's tacky and then put the wig on when you're using gossip free spray because it will dry up and it won't be as tacky as you want it to be it will just be dried up spray when you're using gossip free spray you kind of want to move pretty quickly just so the glue doesn't dry up and just press down once you get the wig on correctly. Pushing down on it, you can use your fingers or you can use a comb. It's a lot of people that say just use a comb, it's better, blah, blah, blah. It really is, but I just be forgetting sometimes. A piece like that. Cut a piece like that and then just bring it back. guys so i have my razor here and what i'm about to do is just basically cut off this excess lace and it made it oh i cut myself i know i did i know i did y'all don't cut yourself when y'all doing this it's really really easy to but um cutting the lace like this and like applying it like this helps so much i learned that it learned it helps so much y'all i'm not even gonna lie well, as you can see right there we're about to fix that we're about to take that off and then fix that right there a video 
video for beginners and for people that mess up a lot or think they're messing up when they're really not and it's just natural um don't mind my mannequin head back there we never talk about that okay but as you can see i have so much stuff on my face which i don't do my hair like this every single time but whatever so much stuff on my forehead i meant to say and um the lace you can see it so we're about to fix that basically by you know wiping with a wipe i use a wipe and water on the wipe and it comes off like pretty 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 quick what it is is the um the gotta be glue leaves a white residue so yeah that's what be going on but it's okay because it's cleaned up by water so with these pieces that you can actually see what you do is you get this you get this more put down all you have to do is spray on top of your lace which it will if like if you spray too much it will leave your hairs on your um wig hard so you want to be careful how much and where you spray at like I just sprayed all of my hairs up there but it's okay is not gonna snap back like that when you spray the guys to be glue on there you will have to get a lace like this one or like a thin good HD or Swiss lace that will actually melt into your um, forehead or whatever you want to say <laughs> melts okay guys so now you can see like how this is like slaying the game and looking a mess you know so when you put your wig on and it looks like this don't get scared don't quit don't think you don't know how to do hair it's just you just need to know the tips from bun b you feel me so yeah though i'm about to just do the same thing i did on this side and then we're gonna cut baby hairs and swoop and then maybe do a nice style or just wear it down i don't know but yeah <music> So now what we're going to do is just cut baby hair, swoop, and then style. I'm done talking for the rest of the video because I just wanted to tell y'all about the lace tips um, on what I be doing to get this type of look. <laughs>
guys so I am done as you can see sis is slay with some nice baby hairs and a side ponytail and I really like the side ponytail because like the hair is curly and stuff and it just gives that good you know cute look or whatever but if you guys like this tutorial make sure you guys comment down below like this video and make sure you guys go check out Jeannie's wigs because this is a bomb bomb wig I'm not gonna lie I give y'all the bomb wigs okay I don't give y'all nothing you know off I always give y'all the bomb wigs y'all always see me slaying them and if I don't slay them then something wrong with them period but anyways so yeah, go make sure y'all go check out Jean's wigs because this is a really nice thin lace, very, very meltish, you know. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.